Hello, my lovely Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. Doom, 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 doom. Aries, 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 Aries. <laughs> How are you guys doing, Aries? Hope you guys are doing well, you know, staying away from the lunatics. Um, you know, as you know, Aries is going to be another general reading to see what kind of lunatic is coming towards you. In love, keep in mind the situation here could be reverse vice versa right um please do not forget to like this video if for some reason this does not seem to resonate with you please check your moon your rising and your venus signs okay please take one moment just hit like thank you so much all right so aries we're bringing the charms back now yeah. you know making it hot making it hot keeping things spontaneous you know all right let's see who is aries dealing with spirit who is coming towards aries in love oh damn there's an owl here, you know, owl is the uh, is an animal of wisdom. All right, so let's see. Aries. Who is coming towards Aries? There, who is coming towards Aries? See what we got. There's a whole lot of trees here, tree of life. Ooh, someone may have had a baby recently, or this could be someone you have a child with. You have E. Oh, there's a little boy here. Maybe you have a little boy with this person, or you have a little boy. There's A. Oh, there's a little girl here. Oh, shit. I got a whole family. <laughs> All right. Then we have love. There's an M and A. Another M. Strong M. There's a D, R, H. Oh, strong H is in here. B. Y, a C, an E. Someone could be named Cassie. I don't know. I just heard a Catherine. Um, Caleb. You have J, Q, P, H, O. There's a whole lot of like beach things. So I don't know. Something about the sea. So maybe this person likes to fish or they enjoy going to the beach maybe you live by the beach maybe you live in california or some crap like that florida there's a lot of music symbols in here so you could definitely be dealing with someone who does music all right that's what we got aries oh there's a cat here someone has a kitty cat or maybe this person's just a pussy <laughs> Woo! all right aries so let's see what the freak is up cracking lacking here <laughs> Crack it, laugh it. All right, Aries. Let me get my hair chopped. Come on, go back up in the ponytail. Go back up in the damn ponytail. All right, Aries. Let's see what we got. Aries. Aries in love. What is coming towards Aries in love? Aries. Aries. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, you have a reunion. A reunion is popping off dreams and illusions. Maybe this person's been dreaming about you so much that they have no choice but to just come and reunite with you in the real world, okay? Then you have marriage, okay? This is someone, maybe you were married to this person, but right behind that is reconciliation. <clears throat> this may be someone that you could see as your future partner. Um, they see you as their future partner, Aries. All right, let's see what the freak is going on. Oh, hold on. No! Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Aries. What is that? Aries. Oh, yeah, you guys are definitely reconciling Aries. Definitely. <laughs> Ooh, child. Two of cups just keep showing up at the bottom of the deck. Aries, you may be connected to another fire sign. But whoever the hell this person is, Aries, um, it looks like this person's definitely a pussy, just like I thought when I first seen a lot of all, um that cat in um your charms okay i'm like this person must be scary as hell they have been running away from you aries okay um and i think you already know this you're just like you know what fuck it i don't think you're chasing this person maybe at first you probably were trying to like you know figure out what the freak is going on here but you're no longer really doing that okay um so now you're running away now you probably were chasing them if this is your twin flame and now they're gonna be chasing you aries all right so here we go 
What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? Please do not forget to like this video, Aries. Thank you. Damn. Everybody's pulling the five of cups. <laughs> Oh my God, everybody is just in this energy. It could be Merc Mercury retrograde. I don't know if it's here already, but I think it's, it's supposed to be here soon. Um, yeah, everybody's in a whole lot of regret, okay? Wow. The Emperor could be connected to another Aries. We have the Ace of Cups. What is coming towards Aries in love, please? What is coming towards Aries in love? Woo. Aries, um... <laughs> This person, um, they they want to get back together. That's what they want. I feel like they definitely want to be more vulnerable with you. Obviously, this was a very strong connection, Aries, right? Um, but someone made a decision to end things here, okay? Or to walk away from this. And they regret walking away. They regret that, okay? This person may have broken up with you. They regret that. The Five of Cups is here. Um, this person is definitely in an energy of feeling... A whole lot of sorrow, Aries. They may have not been keen to show it, but they, that's how they feel. You may be dealing with somebody who embodies the emperor, okay? Someone who can be very stubborn. Somebody who just, they, they, don't, they don't budge, okay? Someone like you, Aries. <laughs> okay, somebody who, businessman, a businesswoman, someone who, you know, does call, call the shots, right, in their life. Okay? But, um... Someone very rigid. It could be someone who's very rigid. They're tough. They're a tough nut to crack. Okay. Um, this could be your husband, your wife. You guys separated and they want to get back together. They want to have a new beginning with you. Um, six of Cups, I feel like there's something about the past and they regret whatever they did or said in the past. Aries. This person may have had a lot of growing up to do, but they're hoping that you will take them back okay <laughs> they're hoping that you won't reject them okay the ten of swords is here so something definitely came to an end here okay they may have betrayed you for some of you okay and they they feel sorry about that and they want to get back together maybe this is someone who just they were always holding on to their past so if you're looking back at your past right and you have yet to let it go or you have yet to let an ex go. How the hell do you think that you're going to move forward with somebody new? It's not possible. So for some of you, that could have been the case in the past. They were still holding on to an ex. Um, but regardless, this is someone who walked away. They want to come back. They want to return to the situation. Um, they're returning to the scene of the crime. Okay. The lunatic um <laughs> so aries or this could be you going back to somebody okay but even though they walked away from you aries the feelings the love was always still there they realize they still have things for you they may have not treated you the best right they may have abandoned you like i said i feel like this person abandoned you and it could be because they just felt things were very intense very strong the ace of cups definitely tells me that their feelings are very overwhelming um, and they couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it, Aries. So they had to abandon the situation. But they feel as though it's the right time now. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. An Aries, a Gemini, um, a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio again, right? Or an Aquarius. But they feel it's the right time. They're ready to make a change, Aries. Um, and... This may have been a case of right person, wrong time. Maybe you met this person at the wrong time. I'm hearing Libra. Libra did have a similar reading in their What Don't They Tell You series. So it wasn't the right time. They they have a lot they want to say to you, Aries, Ten of Wands. This person is about to crack. They're about to crack because they've been holding back so much, Aries. Okay. And they they, <laughs> they can't take it anymore. They just have to open up. They have to let you know how they're feeling um the universe is pushing them to do this um and aries also you know maybe you feel like things were very one-sided in the past okay this is someone who was really denying their feelings aries seven of swords they were wearing a false mask they were fronting i was just fronting i'm ready to marry. yeah <laughs> this motherfucker was fronting aries um, and here they come, here they come. 
So let us do a little clarifying. I feel like this is someone could be a Virgo. They've been doing a lot of thinking and soul searching throughout this time. And um, they just regret walking away. All right, tell me about the Four of Cups reverse for Aries. So they're hoping um, maybe in the past this person was rejecting you. Not outright rejecting you, like leave me alone, okay? They probably just were acting indifferent towards you. And you were trying to love them, like take the motherfucking cup. You know, just take the, take the motherfucking cup. But they didn't want to take it, Aries. And maybe you just completely just let them go. You moved on. And you moved on, but they haven't, right? Wow. Could be a Leo or a Sagittarius, yeah. Lovers reverse the sun, the temperance card. They want to make peace with you. They want to bring back balance, Aries. They, um, they want to bring things back into balance here. That's what they want to do, okay? They hope that you can forgive them and take them back, okay? That's what they want. They're coming to you with the truth, okay? And I, this is how you're going to meet them. If they don't come towards you the right way with the truth and stop hiding behind their false mask of BS, you're going to just turn them away. So they know that they have to be transparent with you and clear with you. Like, what the hell do you want? All right, tell me about the Five of Cups for Aries. But this is someone potentially that you may marry in the future, Aries, Okay. There, there's potential here with the emperor. Oh. Aries child. They they want to tell the truth. That's what they want. <laughs> it's just so funny when I do these readings because I'm like, damn, man. This is, the cards are always, you know, like, literally specifically clarifying what I'm thinking. So I love it. They don't want this to be a missed opportunity, Aries. They, they, they want you to take them back, okay? Um... Some of you probably have a real grudge against them if they really did something foul, as in leaving you for someone else or if there was cheating here in the past between you two. Um, but they love you. They dream of you. Could be a cancer. They want you to take them back. All right. Who or what is this emperor? So, Aries, some of you may be very hard to budge when it comes to this person. You may not be budging at all. You're like, you know what? I'm not going nowhere. I'm not making any moves. You're going to come to me. Not only that, Aries, you are, some of you are just like, you may not want them back. You're just like, I'm standing firm in my decision to leave you alone, okay? So you're going to have to wallow in your own regret. That sounds like a personal problem. Some of you have a new love in your life and you don't care anymore. So this emperor is wanting to make a change, um, Aries. <laughs> oh my God, could be a Taurus. But this emperor, they want to show their feelings now. They want to um, wear their heart on their sleeve. They want to commit. They want it all, Aries. This is what they want now, okay? Ooh, child. I'm about to say some cups for Aries in love. <laughs> you guys are dealing with a stubborn mule. <laughs> all right. They want to show you how much they care about you, Aries. They physically, they probably have shown you, right? But you just want some expression of emotion. You want them to open their heart to you, okay? Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Things are very stagnant in the past with this person, okay? Um, you felt like you weren't getting anywhere. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capital. You feel like you just weren't getting anywhere with this person. And there was a lack of commitment here. Why is the lovers here in the reverse for Aries? In the past, this is someone who maybe wanted to have their cake and to eat it too. So maybe they weren't giving you the commitment, okay? So they wanted all the benefits of a relationship without the strings attached. Obviously, this is not something they probably told you, <laughs> but this is probably what they were doing. They, they weren't sure, they were juggling, um, and you just, you got tired of the BS, okay? For some of you, that's your story. This is someone who just wanted their cake. But they, they're approaching things differently now, Aries. I don't know what else to say because maybe they were held back by a lot of fear and illusion. But they're coming back, Aries. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Some of you, you just, you don't, I don't think, some of you just, uh, child, mm, you see this motherfucker as a waste of time, Aries, Okay. You just feel like it's going to waste your time. But that's what they want, Aries. So you can expect that this person 
is uh, they're ready to open their hearts and to approach things differently with you. You see, I am so sorry and I'm afraid of your rejection. So for some of you, they are worried that you're going to reject them <laughs> as you should. <laughs> they wonder how you feel about them, if you still have feelings for them, if you still love them. And then you also have, you are the best I ever had. So, some of you, they were just very childish. They needed to grow up, okay? All right, what does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? So, Aries, you may not think that this person is the one anymore, okay, for some of you. Like I said, because you feel like they need to grow up. What does this person want to say to Aries? Or if you're cross-watching, this Aries may not think you're the one because they, um, they maybe they feel like you need to grow the freak up. <laughs> so what do you need to grow up? What does this person want to say to Aries? I just feel like you stopped wasting your time, Aries. All right. So you have, I stay away because I don't want to hurt you. What does this person want to say to Aries? Ooh. I miss you. They say, Ooh, that, I want to protect and provide. I miss, So this is someone who's about to step up. Will you marry me? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, this is somebody who is about to step up, Aries. That's what they're about to do. They're about to step it up. I have sexual fantasies of you. They're about to step at the freak up. You deserve better than me. And you feel like you deserve better than them. This connection scares me. You have my heart and my soul. Ooh, chap. They feel like you have their heart and their soul. I will not hurt you. Some of you, this could be a new person coming in. Okay, keep in mind, it's different for everyone. Some of you, this could be a brand new person coming in. I don't want anyone else. So this new person that's coming in could be everything that you want. And you're probably rejecting someone else. Maybe the person from the past. You could be rejecting them, Aries. Um... But that's what they want. <laughs> I, I wonder, do you guys laugh when I say that? That's what they want? Because I know Aries, like, I don't give a fuck what you want. <laughs> anyway, Aries, that's what they want to say to you. Um, <laughs> they, they, they sorry, Aries. Take them back. They got the snot nose. Just, just take them back, please. All right? Love you guys. See you guys next time.